Hi guys, how's it going? This is Matt Desamonte right here. Hope you're well. Thank you for tuning in and welcome back to some more Europa Universe Science 4. We're playing here as Wales and we're in a bit of a predicament here where Spain and Portugal are landing our, um, our mainland over here. And well, we're in a spot of bother because obviously we're looking to uh, snag, uh, snag some land from over this way. Over here in the, uh, the Caribbean, looking to make some colonies. Going to try and do a little bit of sieging over here, I think. Being careful of those uh, rebels. Was this a? Um... No, that wasn't a mixed tech. I was going to say, will those separatists come over here? Uh, I'm probably going to guess no. See, Mexico gets a permanent claim on that, which is kind of interesting. So, I'm actually interesting as to how Mexico would have formed. Maybe that did they break away from a? A colony or something. I'm, I'm curious as to how that actually formed. Or is it that... Um, is that like one of the nations that you can form over this way? Uh, I don't even know. But then this is... This is Mexico here as well. These look like... Um, yes, yeah, so this is old, uh, old Castilian. So I'm interested to know how that actually formed. Um, I don't know whether they maybe broke away over here or something. I'm not entirely sure. Anyhow, uh, we need to concentrate on what's going on over here. Because obviously we're in a lot of trouble over here. Luckily we do have a fair bit of monies. Uh, and I'm thinking about maybe uh, murking up here. It's going to cost us a lot. But uh, I, think we need to, uh, I think we need to here. So, um, let's murk up, and we will attempt to fight these guys. Um, there's no leaders over here or anything like that, so... The other thing as well is, by attacking these guys, we will get, uh, we will get war score. And... Yeah, see, there's more and more troops coming in here. Um, oh, yellow over there, Portugal dropping troops. Um, we should probably move one of our leaders across here, um... I would have preferred it to have been the other dude. Uh, reason being, we don't actually need uh, we don't actually need siege over here. So you're the guy. Oh, I see. Yes, we've kind of got. Oh crap. Um, I think we're going to walk in over this way, and we are actually going to walk out of here. So, oh, there's some peasants there. Uh, let's go ahead and walk down this way then. So I think temporarily we're going to have to go with this guy. He's got the shock, which is quite nice. But um, right, let's go ahead and drop these guys over here. And I'm going to move some troops over this way. We, we've got to go with the uh, the mercs here. Uh, whoops, press the uh, the wrong button there. And yeah, we're going to have to pick this guy out. He's uh, he's got some good shock, but um, in general, quite frustrating. So if we can beat back these armies, we'll be in a good uh, a good position, I think. So let's move in over here then. Obviously, these guys, second uh, of December, they're going to arrive. I'm thinking about trying to snag um, this army from Spain first. Where are you moving to, Coventry? Yeah, let's go in there. Uh, we'll engage with that. Obviously, we're allowing Portugal to land here. But at the same time, we can take some good battles. Uh, yeah, excellent. Didn't get full morale there either in that uh, in that fight. Ooh, uh, tariffs on naval supplies. Uh, I think we'll take the uh, the power points here, and we got Diplo in the end. Right, who? Twenty seventh of December. Uh, seventeen against seventeen. Yeah. Any particular military ideas? You got three of them. Offensive ideas. We may actually be able to take on. Um... Oh, nice. Okay, uh, we may actually be able to take on quite a bit of uh, Portugal's army here. That fleet is being attrition there. That's a bit of an issue. There's a whole pile of peasants revolting up over here as well, and there's also an army from Spain coming in over here. Really? Can we not walk here anymore? Oh my god, they've uh, got rid of military access. Um, yeah, let's move our troops across there then. Obviously, they're getting war score from these occupations as well. 
Uh, let's allow our morale to tick up there a little bit uh, with this this lot. France have embraced global trade. Okay. Uh, combine the mercs. Yeah, see, this could be a good battle, actually, if we uh, if we tackle Portugal here. I'd like to do it before anybody else lands. So, yeah, see, so you're... What are you doing, Zaraza? I think you're coming over here to either do some desieging or... Are we not... I think we are... Are we being transported there? Where are my transports? What are you doing over here? Are you kidding me? Get over this way. Oh my god. Right. That's ridiculous. Okay, so obviously uh, London here uh, is going to take a while for them to siege down. Even with the cannons and stuff. Uh, they're going to take a while before they, uh, before they siege that. So let's move into Oxford. There we go. And let's go over to here. We're, we are going to attack these guys and we're going to squish them. Uh, France has an army kicking around over this way. Right, where is this... You see these peasants and stuff uh, is not helpful. Right. Combine. Uh, let's have a look here. There should be no river crossing or anything like that. So straight up fight here. We've got the shock, we've got the morale, uh, we've got the terrain, not really any terrain advantages here, but uh, we are going to beat them here. Excellent, and you should retreat somewhere over here. So I'm going to go and instantly head down there and attempt to stack right you. Right. I think that Spanish army may actually be attempting to come across over this way. But I think I kind of need to go and deal with these peasants, to be quite honest. Because that's going to be quite nasty. I think... Oh, you didn't win that battle. Are you kidding me? The colony's not helping here. Right, well, yeah, we lost that siege. Okay, so that's a bit annoying. Okay, yeah, we're going to go after this, uh, this stack here. Yeah, here you go. You're walking into here. We are going to catch you. Uh, you don't have a lot of morale. Taking a hell of a lot of losses there, but my goodness. And then obviously, yeah, we're going to go straight into there, and uh, this should be a stack right. Yes, there we go. Right. Um, so detach the mercs. Combine the mercs, because we don't want to be spending on reinforcements. And then split in half or rather detach sieges, and we'll carpet that up. And hopefully, that'll be enough to get... Uh, see, that's annoying, but I think we are going uh, to go and engage with that. Right, where am I? Um, so my transports are over here. Uh, are there any other... We've occupied that. Might be worth just coming over here and uh, moving in over that way. That's probably going to be quite useful. Uh, medium war enthusiasm. Uh, we probably have ticking war score. Which we should do because we have... Uh, yeah, we have occupation over the colony. I'd like to just grab this siege back, to be quite honest. And then uh, basically from there... Right, super. Okay, so let's move to Oxford. I'll disband the mercs after the war. Obviously losing this amount of money is quite frustrating, but uh, autonomy increased expired there. Um, I'm going to go blockade that. Yeah, there's this little Spanish army walking around over here. Cruises know as to what they're going to do. Right, and that's a big army. 18k troops are about to drop on us. I think it's time to peace out here. Actually, Spain's... No, you're not even willing to do a white peace. Spain's war enthusiasm is only medium. You're in two wars. <gasps> Might be able to white peace you out. Um, when are you landing? 
27th of October. I reckon we're going to be able to white piece the Spanish. Let's get a couple more mercs in here. Make sure we got some... Uh... You're locked in here as well, so you have no choice but to take this on. We have a little bit of a lack of morale. Um... Uh, combined together, you've got no leader. You're going to take a minus two from this crossing. And we may actually be able to white piece Spain here. Which will be absolutely sublime. Actually, we could pay them off. Um, any chance we could pay them off at all? We're not betraying our life for their gold, no. Okay, I was uh, I was curious to see whether we, whether we could uh, pay them off there. Um, so obviously that might get rid of some of the war score. But big battle over here. Um, are we seriously going to lose this? Are we actually going to lose this? Oh my god, it's going to be close. Oh yes, excellent. And that should be enough to get you out of the war now. Uh, yeah, there we go. White piece. Um, no, nope. yeah, we'll just white piece you out. Get out the war. There we go. And now we have 32% war score. Um, so let's go with all our mercs. Let's get rid of all of them. And this is the remaining army that we have over here. Uh, let's go ahead and consolidate. Send you in there. So 32% war score. So we have plenty here to work with. So transport, uh, let's let's keep going here. I think we can do. Uh, I think we can do better. Um, so let's occupy some of these colonies. It'd be a real pain in the ass here. Thirty-two uh, percent. No need to blockade that anymore. Actually, because uh, Spain is now out of this war, we could probably quite comfortably. What? Uh, I was going to say we could bring our uh, bring our ships back here over this way. So now that we know that uh, Spain and Portugal will land troops, um, so obviously now that they're going to do that, uh, we should be mindful. Are you not moving? I swear I told you to move. Oh well, okay. Uh, we spend a lot of money for that. Uh, we were in a position where we were going to be able to embrace our institution, but now we're not. So, uh, But I think what we're going to do is we're going to ransack Portugal for a fair bit of money here. Uh, we're going to go in over this way and attack Caribas's little army there. Uh, and it's actually getting to the point where we might be able to even go as far as blockading for some extra war score. Um, so let's bring the lights somewhere over here. Might be able to blockade for some extra war score. Okay, excellent. You guys might as well move back here. We're going to smash Karibas's army over this way. And I think we'll have full occupation over most of Karibas at this point. There's just one more province down here that we will go for. That's also a trade center, so that's going to be worth a fair amount of um, fair amount of ducats, uh, or rather war score. So let's. Move over there with that army. Does Portugal have any further... Yeah, see they have some occupations over here. And we could drop an army down there to minimise war score. Yeah, we took a little bit of damage there. But I think we're going to go, and go, go in for a full blockade of Portugal's coastline. Uh, right, yeah, you're kind of stuck there at the moment. Do, 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 do. We can really drag this. Uh, really? What's going on here? Um, <laughs> totally sunk. <laughs> uh, let's pitch up the lights here as well. Let's get a full blockade here, or as, as best a blockade as we can. Uh, we're about to battle this. Uh, that ship will be kicked out of there as well, so that'll be some more war score. Blockade the capital, that'll be great. Yeah, 55%. 
I'm going to hurt Portugal here. I'm going to really hurt them. Because they've been a bit of a pain in the ass here. Right, so siege that down. We'll battle that ship. And I think that should be enough, to be quite honest. Um, they, they're so uh, so all over the place here. Cool. Okay, right. So obviously we're going to take that. I do want a ton of money here. That's 33% of the war score. Uh, wouldn't mind... See, I wouldn't mind actually getting you to break your alliance with Spain as well. And the rest needs to be provinces. So, obviously we don't have claims on the majority of this, but there are certain ones that we do, so we could nab those for free. 222 admin to call those. That's quite a bit. Then, uh... Tortuga there, that's relatively good. I think that's going to be quite okay, actually. And then revoke some cores over here. Uh, any chance you get war reps? Oh, actually, hang on, what's this option? Hello. Clear the offer. Concede the Caribbean. Are you serious? Oh, shit! We're going to do that. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to press for this. Yep. I'm going to press for that. We can get them to seed their entire colony to Caribbean sheep. Let's do it. So, if we want to do that... Uh, oh, we're actually being attrition down here. Uh, we probably want to go and DC's YOLO, to be quite honest, if we're going to do that. So, let's grab this army, and I'll transport it to here. Going to want to go DC's that. Oh, man. Did not realise that that was a peace deal. Okay, what rate are we... We're being heavily attritioned out here. Okay, so let's move the lights away here. These these heavies can take quite a quite a beating, so we'll move the lights away. Oh man, we can uh, grab that entire colony and a whole pile of cash. Right, wicked. Okay, so this army is now back together. Excellent. So yeah, I think we need to go and DC uh, Yolo here. And basically, uh, DC's that capital in particular, because that's worth a lot of war score. Right. Excelente. Okay. Uh, let's just keep an eye on whether... Well, obviously, Portugal shouldn't drop too many troops, because we have got a blockade in place. Excellent. Right. Right. Uh, training tobacco happened to us. Foreign spy detection. Nice. Okie doke. Right. Start the DC of that. This fleet. Uh, actually, I should be quite happy to move. Yeah, let's move move back over this way. We don't need to fabricate any further claims over here on Arawak. Ooh. Oh, well, that was cute. They actually sent their ships out to uh, suicide. Lovely. Can't complain. In fact, uh, these ships over here could probably go back to trade protection. Let's see why not. Uh, are we over our force limit at all, the troops? No, we're not. Okay, good. But yeah, um, obviously that's going to increase the liberty desire of one Caribbean sheep over here. So, how far... We need to improve some relations here. Um, like this. And let's bring home the guy from Holland again. High naval attrition. Yeah, we're being battered here by naval attrition. So let's go ahead and uh, park back up over here. 13.5%. Jesus. Yeah, DC uh, YOLO. We'll come back here and we'll re-blockade uh, close to the end of the war. I think is what we'll do. Spain no longer considers me a rival. Really? Well, rather interestingly, um, in that sense, we may actually be able to... Um, 
Well, I don't think we'll get an alliance, but we'll be able to improve relations there. And obviously, if we can get Portugal to break... I want them to do this as well. Damn. Break that alliance. That'll be excellent. Okay, yeah, so... Excellente! Grown enough to be self-sustaining up here in the northwest. Um, this is a Grand Banks Fisheries, yes. Uh, this is all affected by that, so let's go ahead and just move into there then. Obviously, we're allowing Spain to have a bit of land over here, which is not great, but uh, still. Right, you're still repairing. We'll bring you over here for the end of the end of the uh, end of the war. Is what we'll do. Oh really? Havana's come under the occupation of peasants. Uh, yeah, that's not brilliant either. Damn, we'll have to go deal with those at some point. Um, obviously, the more the more provinces they nick, the worse it's going to be. Good cause. Seventy-one percent. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're maxed out on admin. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll take the idea then. Let's take the uh, diplomatic relation. Let's pick that up. Make sure we don't max out on any of our power points. Right. We're just about repaired up enough there, I think, that uh, this is going to be fine. There we go. Won that siege back. Uh, no worries at all there. Uh, where do I want to move this army? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's bring it over here to our colony. Uh, in case we need it in this area. Right, so 60% war score. Let's come down here and re-blockade that. Spain is just like... Basically, this is uh, all of Spain's colonies. This is one of the benefits of having loads of colonies. Is you just get so powerful so, so quickly. And you can declare so many wars. Right, so come down here. Hit the blockade. 70% war score. Uh, okay, maybe we'll take slightly less cash. I think this one does need to be over. 326 is still pretty good. But yeah, look at that. Seed, uh, seed, concede the Caribbean. Break your alliance with uh, Spain. And give me some cash. Send demand. Brilliant. Right, uh, yeah, so we've gained Conquest Casas Belly against our own colony, sure, but look at this crap. Oh, man. Great. Okie doke, so Caribbean sheep is now huge. So obviously, uh, you've got a lot of work to do over this way in terms of calls, planes, blah, blah, blah. We've now gained our extra merchant. Which is brilliant. So we can move trade. Uh, see, we either put it in Lubeck or we put it over here in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. It's probably actually going to be better to put it over here in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Try and divert power away from... Uh... Oh, it actually goes to the North Sea, that. Right. Which is the one that goes... Oh, it's this one. Chesapeake Bay over here is the one that goes to English Channel. Right, okay. So in actual fact, we're going to need to recall you. And I think we need to colonise somewhere over here. So one of these ones in particular. Local trade. Local trade. Right, okay, yeah, we need to colonize one of these. So, I'm thinking... This one. Massachusetts. Alright, okay. Uh, transport fleet's still busy. But yeah, uh, I think we need to colonize over here, get some power over this way. And then start moving trade to the English Channel. Over there. But I think we should. Uh, I think we should move trade from uh, the Gulf of St. Lawrence to the North Sea. Divert some of the trade power away from uh, Spain. 
So let's move you in. Functioning states. Okay, sure. Obviously, that's a that's a good province, that. But um, I think it would actually be... Can we not... Oh, that's wasteland. Right. Okie doke. There it is. Right. Um, so what we need to do is we're bringing our army back over here. Because what we need to do is we need to get rid of these peasants. That our new colony is... Uh, and obviously that has absolutely ruined half of Portugal's, uh, Portugal's ambition over here. It's utterly ruined them. Right. So... Um, we need to move over to here with this army. Actually, no, 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 that's silly. Um, this army needs to move over to here with the general. And then we need to move the 7k stack over to... Oh, wow, where's my geography? Is it this one? Yep. I knew it was close. And move over there like that. Right. Uh, so let's grab the 7k stack. And we'll move to here. Just like that. We can embrace our institution. Uh, I think we will do that very, very soon here. Uh, firstly, though, go batter that. We'll have it. We want a couple of extra ducats in the bank before we uh, actually go and beat that up. So what is uh, what is our colony's liberty desire here? 19%. That's not too bad. The other thing as well is they're paying us tariffs. And if we look at our tax money now. Sick. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and embrace this institution. There we go. And we're going to take all of our technologies. So it allows Force March. We can take another admin tech on top of that. Diplo. We can grab... And military, we're also going to grab Gallop Cavalry and Leather Cannon. Uh, growing popularity of tobacco, 50% price change, nice. Okay, so let's change our units here to be those. We can take the extra merchant here, and surprisingly enough, I kind of like that idea of two new merchants. So, um... St. Lawrence here, we're moving trade from there. So let's go ahead and position a merchant here. And let's go to Lubeck. Are we? Yeah, we're still connecting there. And transfer trade from there. And this is where the stonkingly richness is going to come into play here. France is getting its ass kicked again. And it's once again the Pope. Let's see how. Okay. Um, sure. Right. So we are currently doing work over this way. Obviously, we're going to try and form a colonial nation over here as well. Excellent. Okay. Brill. Okay. So, uh, 70 per year. That's fine. We will uh, attempt to make some move inroads there. The army has dropped, so let's go ahead and now move this stack over to here to deal with those peasants. And uh, we can fabricate some claims over here. So, uh, we could offer direct vassalization. But then we won't be able to get a raw marriage either. So, uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, go for some claims. Try and create a colonial nation over here with a view to... Um, then allowing that colonial nation to go beat beat up people around this area. Let's bring in the guy from Brittany. How's our generic relationship? See, we could... Um... Yeah, see, Spain is no longer a rival, but they still... Yeah, they're still a bit meh with us. Uh, we do have, of course, room for extra diplo relations. Um, strangely enough, though, I'm kind of interested in perhaps improving some relations with Spain, but not at the moment. Uh, I want to max out those relations with our um, co colonial uh, nation over there. Pretender rebels in Mali, really? Yeah, see, there's not really going to be any chance. I think YOLO, to be honest, I'm tempted to make YOLO open to a march. 
I don't think we're going to be annexing them anytime soon. Uh, we'll have to look at that. But there we go. That's it for now. So cheers for watching, guys. This has been Mr. Magnus Amato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series and join me next time for EU4. And I'll play through here with Wales. See you later, guys.